Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we're doing dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.85. It says, the flight path of the helicopter as it takes off from A is defined by the parametric equations x equals to 2t squared and y equals to 0.04t cubed meters, where t is the time in seconds Determine the distance the helicopter is from point A and the magnitudes of its velocity and acceleration when t is equal to 10 seconds, okay? So what they give us in here is a graph, huh? they give us a y-x graph, they give us that our point A was our initial point and we want to find out here this distance. Well, the distance from this point to this point is not exactly following the path, so the distance from point A to my helicopter is mainly just a straight line like this one, okay? So, if we know this straight line, what we can do in order to find the distance is that we can find the position in the x direction. So, we can find the position in the x direction. And then we can also find then later the position in the y direction. And then after this, we can implement a hypotenuse in order to find our distance okay so let's start by doing that we know we're given that the equation for our position in the x direction with respect to time is 2t cube uh, square i'm sorry therefore if we put that our time is equal to 10 seconds we will have 2 multiplied by 10 square and this should give us an equal of 200 meters then our y equation in terms of time is equal to 0.04 t cube okay and if we put our position our y position when time is equal to 10 we will have 0.04 multiplied by 10 cube and this should be equal to 40 meters okay now that we know our values, values of y and our values for x, we can find is our distance d. So we'll have that our distance from point A to our helicopter is going to be equal to the square root of, then we'll have our x component, which is 200 meters squared, plus our y component, which is 40 meters squared, okay? And if we plug this into our calculator, let's see how much it will be. We will get an equal of 204 meters, okay? And this is if we round up only to uh, without decimal points, okay? So we just found our first answer, which is the distance, okay? Later, it says, determine the distance of the helicopter is from point A, so we did that one, and the magnitudes of its velocity and acceleration when time is equal to 10 seconds. So we need to do our velocities, okay? So let's just start by doing our velocities and knowing that we have the equation for the position in the x and position in the y. So if we want to find out the velocity in the x direction, what we need to know is that this is going to be the derivative of our position with respect to time, okay? So in other words, we are going to do the derivative with respect to time of our position equation, which is 2t squared, okay? After we perform our derivative, we'll realize that this is equal to 4t, okay? Now, if we want to know the velocity and the x position when time is equal to 10 seconds, we will end up having four multiplied by 10, and this is equal to 40 meters per second, okay? Now, we're going to do the same thing, but in our y direction, we're going to perform to find the velocity in our y direction. So we need to do the derivative of our y position with respect to time, meaning that we're going to do the derivative with respect to time of our 0.04t cubed and this should be equal to 0.12t squared, okay? And when we plug in in this equation that time is equal to 10 seconds, 
what do we have? Well, we'll have that this is equal to 0 0.12 multiplied by 10 squared, and this should be equal to 12 meters per second, okay? Now, I'm just going to go back and to our question, and they're asking us to find the magnitudes of velocity and acceleration. So if we want to do the magnitude of our velocity, we're basically doing the hypotenuse again. We're doing, we are going to apply Pythagorean theorem. Therefore, our magnitude that I'm going to represent as our velocity with these two bars on the side as a magnitude symbol is going to be equal to the square root of our x component. Well, we found out that it was 40. So we got 40 squared plus our y component, which we found to be 12. So we got 12 squared. Okay. And if we plug this into our calculator, let's see how much we get. We get that this is equal to 41.8 meters per second if we round to one decimal place. Okay. And this should be our second answer. Then we're going to perform the same, but now for acceleration. And what we need to know is that the acceleration, let's say in this case in the x direction, is going to be the derivative of our velocity in the x direction with respect to time, okay? So this is going to be the derivative with respect to time of our 4t equation. And if you don't recall where this 4t is coming from, it's coming from when we found our velocity in the x direction, okay? So if we perform this derivative, this should be equal to four for all times, okay? Because it doesn't include any t. So this should be meter per second square. Then later we can find the acceleration in the y direction, which is going to be the derivative of the velocity in the y direction with respect to time and in other words, this is going to be the derivative with respect to time of our velocity in the y direction, which is 0 0.12 multiplied by t squared. And if we perform this derivative, we will get that this is equal to 0 0.24 multiplied by t. Since we want to know the acceleration magnitude when time is equal to 10, then we need to know that our acceleration in the y direction when time is equal to 10, is going to be equal to 0 0.24 multiplied by 10, and this should give me an equal of 2.4 meters per second square. Okay? We're still not done, but we're really close to the final answer for our magnitude in our acceleration. So the magnitude of our acceleration, we're going to represent it similar to our velocity with the two, mag uh, with the two bars that represents magnitude. And this is going to be equal to the square root of, and then we'll have the x component, which is equal to 4 squared, plus the y component, which is equal to 2.4 squared. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will realize that this is going to be equal to 4.66 meters per second squared. And this should be our last answer for the acceleration magnitude, okay? If you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next time.